sewing friends. Welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. Today's quilt block is the eighth quilt block in our friendly sampler. It's called Card Trick. Let's get started. To make our block today, I'm beginning with some five inch squares. There are two prints and two solids and then two background squares. Then I have smaller squares that are four inches, the same two prints, two solids, and two backgrounds. And I'm going to start by cutting all of my squares in half diagonally. Using some of the triangles from the larger squares, I will take four background triangles and four different triangles, two prints and two solids, and I'll make four half square triangles. After pressing my half square triangles, I'm going to lay them out, trying to orient them like I will in my quilt block. And next up, I'm going to take the larger triangles from those five inch squares that are left, and I'm going to lay one triangle next to a matching uh, half square triangle print there, and then of course the peach color, and then the red. Next up, I'm going to take the smaller triangles from the four inch squares and I'm going to place them around the outside of my quilt block. I'm taking four triangles from those four inch squares and I am laying these around, just uh, laying it right next to the matching fabric. Last of all, I'm taking the last four triangles and placing them around and that one that red one right there is incorrect but I'm going to figure that out in just a minute here <laughs> there we go and the way I figured it out eventually was the uh, if you can see that peach color it kind of looks like a heart right there and the other ones will follow suit with that so I'm going to lay everything out and then I'm going to work in sections I'm going to work uh, on each block, just sewing things together so that uh, my squares are ready before I put the whole block together. So I'll start in the middle and put these four triangles together.
So now all of my elements are complete. And so I'm going to press and these squares with all these triangles are not uh, the right size yet. I made them bigger than they needed to be. That was it was just easier to cut things a little bit bigger than I needed. And after I press all of my parts for my quilt block here, I will trim them all to four and a half inches. Okay, now all my little pieces are ready to go and I just need to remember how it fits together. <laughs> but I think we can do that, right? So I'm going to lay all the pieces out. I'll sew them together in rows and then I will sew the rows together. This is a beautiful quilt block. It's block number eight in the Friendly Sampler. Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you next time.